Hello, you know, got quite a few pieces of news today. However, most of them are game updates. First one is all about my personal favorite, Beat Saber. This one is going to be exiting early access here in about a week when all, when the Rift S and the Quest launch. This in this update, we could expect a UI up a UI layout update that will unify the game design across PC VR, PlayStation VR, and all the standalones. One thing we can look forward to in this very, very big update, well, not very big, but there will be an included level editor inside this update. However, the big problem there is that this level editor will only apply to PC versions of it. So the PlayStation VR version is not going to be getting that level editor. However, just the simple fact that we'll be able to see new videos about it on YouTube just makes it that much better. Which means you may not have to use Mod Saber or Beat Mods or whatever it is you're using to make your own custom songs at the moment. However, the big caveat there is that the price is going to be going up by $10 up to $30. So, price is going up $20 to $30 on Steam or the Oculus Store. Obviously, you can already find it for $30 on, on PlayStation VR, but, you know, who cares. One thing we can kind of look forward to with that is, in this article that I'm citing, They've already noted that there will be more music packs, more song updates, and all the stuff that you want from your base game, and all that stuff. Woohoo! Next big story is all about Moss, everybody else's favorite game. So there is supposed to be a free update you can also expect here in about a week on the 21st. It's going to be a timed exclusive for the Quest, but you can expect it to be hitting all the other virtual reality systems later on in June. Okay, so big thing about this. It's story, content, puzzles, enemies, blah, blah, blah. While not directly a sequel, you can find access to that through portals that you can access at many points throughout the main game. That being said, the developers have stated that they are, in fact, working on book two of Moss. So if you're hungry for something a little bit deeper than maybe a single chapter of a book, you could find an entire novel later on. While there is no exact release date scheduled for that, you can rest assured knowing that it is, in fact, coming. And the next big piece of news is all about a shooter that everybody seems to like, Firewall Zero Hour. This one is also getting an update here in about a week for free. And this one is going to be complete with missions, tasks, cosmetic rewards, and time-limited progression. Like I said, all of that coming out in a week, again, on the 21st. This next piece of news is all about everybody's second favorite TV show. Obviously, it's not Game of Thrones. I touched on that one a while back with the Magic Leap headset that costs two grand. This one is all about The Walking Dead. There is a VR game that's scheduled to be released this fall by developer Servios. You may, un, you may remember Servios from Creed or Raw Data. Both of those have released in years past. Creed last year and Raw Data the year before. One of the few things that we do know about the Walking Dead game is that it is going to be more action-driven rather than story-driven the way the Telltale games were. And then a couple more things that we know is that it is going to feature player progression, ranged and melee combat, and of course, multiplayer modes. While it is confirmed that it is going to be released on Vive and the Rift. There's no confirmation per se 
that is going to be re released for the PlayStation VR. However, because of their willingness to work with the PSVR in the past, it stands to reason that it will also come to the PlayStation VR as well. So mark your calendars this fall 2019. I, I recognize it's a big window to go through, but it's not next week. So you have some time to save some money. One of the next big pieces of news is all about a PlayStation 4. You know, Industry Insider Tidex has said on Twitter that Sony is planning on introducing a few new fan favorite ideas like wish list and gifting on the PlayStation Store, trophy progression, and time and log stats for all your games, and finally the ability to pin games on your dashboard. So obviously you'd be able to send your best friend Tyler over there brand new copy of Red Dead and then he can call you a failure for for still playing the game for 400 hours and not being able to complete the main story or for not maxing out your horse but on the off chance you want to play that one game for like ever and that's all you want to play then congratulations you can actually do that now so even if you install all these other games that you just end up forgetting about you'll still be able to play that one game that you really like. It'll still be sitting on your dash because you, you've pinned it there. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention, depending on how well these things work out, we may be able to see them in the upcoming PlayStation 5 launch when it hits shelves next November. And speaking of which, there is one quote-unquote mistake that is expected to hit the PlayStation 5 when it launches, and that is the $500 price tag. Personally, I believe that $500 is reasonable for a system like that. I already gave my reasoning about it, blah blah blah, you don't need to hear it. The reason it's considered a mistake is that Microsoft and Nintendo are both expected to launch a more quote-unquote budget-friendly system, with Microsoft launching the Xbox Lockhart and Nintendo launching the Switch Lite. So the Xbox Lockhart is expected to be primarily built around streaming and the X Cloud system that they will also be launching around that time. Whereas the Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be non detachable and primarily handheld but they'll have small abilities to connect to the TV, but it, it won't use the same docking, docking system that it uses at the moment. The biggest, re the biggest thing that it does have going for it right now is the PlayStation VR lineup, which is going to be really hammering out the PlayStation 5 as a virtual re a major virtual reality competitor bringing it to the forefront and bringing the bringing more headline exclusives to the console however all of, all that said the VR headset is rumored to launch around 250 but because of the fact that we only recently saw patent information for it don't expect it to come out around launch. Enough said. Um, I think that's a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.